Hello fellow fabric collectors and sewing enthusiasts. Welcome back on Sloss and Orchids channel. My name is Elisa and I am a fabricaholic. I am a fabricitis saholic. I'm a fabric shopping holic. I buy loads of fabric. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing another fabric haul. How interesting. I've only just done a Mahusi fabric haul. A few weeks ago and yet somehow um just the same amount of fabric just miraculously accumulated um in my sewing room again i honestly don't know how that happened i have no explanation it just literally appeared out of nowhere and um oh well we might just as well do a fabric haul <laughs> okay so um I think as I was trying to motivate myself to sew, I just kept looking at beautiful fabrics and um, I think it all started with me watching Rachel's video, um, Rachel of Stitched Up and she's a very very naughty girl um, <laughs> and the, Whilst I was watching her video, I kept pausing and I kept going on eBay and by the time I finished, it was like a 30 minute video, by the time I finished it, I got myself five pieces of fabric. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a talent. If she's got a talent, Rachel, I love you. <laughs> keep, keep going. Okay, so let me just start with the ones that I got from the eBay first. I've always been curious about um, Indian textiles. I have bought some cotton fabric from India and when it came I was extremely happy. So um, this is it. I'll show you up close in a sec. I'm just I just want to show you the overall like a large design of it. I think it's gorgeous. Now this pattern in particular exists in about five or six different colorway including you know like a red background, blue background, black background, purple, like all sorts. Um, I just wanted to go for something relaxed but at the same time quite vibrant so i went for this one now having seen the quality of fabric i'm very happy with it and i think in the future i will probably get myself the one with a light pink background as well because that's the one i kind of fancy too let's see it up close shall we so the fabric is softer than poplin but not as thin as lawn but somewhere in the middle i would say it's really nice it's soft yeah it's not stiff i mean it would still hold its shape it's quite this is the back of it just as bright almost as bright as the front so you can probably make yourself things that will have some of the back of a fabric showing i got this came in a five yard cut and i think i paid about 21 pound for it um the width is i think it's a 110 one meter ten centimeters so it's not the widest but I think given the length of this fabric um, you will be able to make a long dress or a set of pajamas or I don't know a robe or whatever you want 
five yards of not so wide fabric is plenty enough I think so that's the first one then I was also watching the Stitch Sisters and they were going they, they were doing the fabric haul of their viscoses they got on the internet so I did get tempted um, and I found this one that I quite liked I think it's as ditzy as it goes for me because a tiny tiny ditzy is not really me but with this one um, I do like this dark grey like a bluey like a bluey grey um, and the flowers are quite cute you know so with this one the quality is nice but I wouldn't say to be honest is nice as the quality of fabric that you buy from proper fabric shops so for eBay I think it's brill um, it's a little bit like fluffy shall I say I don't know you know what I've only washed it now it's very drapey it's it's cool to the touch you know it's quite nice um, I did a burn test <laughs> It's, I feel bad saying it. it's almost like I don't trust the quality but you know you sometimes you just have to do it just for peace of mind so I've done that and yes it is 100% um, viscose so I think out of this one I will make a first version of something I haven't made before so that it's gonna be like a, a wearable garment but if I don't like it I won't feel too bad that I won't wear it um, and again, I do love mm, the pattern, it's really quite happy. <laughs> There's something depressingly happy about this one. So the next two, I've actually fancied myself a little bit of a broderie anglais this year. And not just this year, you know, I've never worked with it. This one is in black. And it says cotton lawn. It's very, very soft. It has almost nothing, just a tiny little dots on the most of the fabric. Where is it? Just there. Yeah. And then on one side of it he has this big chevron it's called um, and he has quite a lot of embroidery on it so I would imagine as you make a dress for example or a skirt you cut it across and not along the fabric so again this is not wide this is not as wide as you would expect it to be so one one side is plain and another side another um, selvage is this wide kind of embroidery bits so your skirt would go like this yeah the rest of your garment would be cut on grain as you usually do with this one I just wanted to make a couple of nice shirt dresses and uh, I've stayed away from black for a very long time because at some point a few years back pretty much my whole world wardrobe was black because it was so easy um, and then I made myself not to buy black at all um, apart from maybe like a couple of pants so this is probably the first black dress I'll be making in a while and yeah I just wanted something simple quite classic so I might go with Sovereign Kate because I've made it several times already and again I will make a video of my repeat patterns because I qu have quite a few but this will probably be in it <laughs> by that point um, so yes again this I got this from eBay I just punched Broderie Anglais they sell it by three meters or five meters or you can buy it by a meter so I got myself three meters of this next one is uh, very nice again it's Broderie Anglais it's white and it's gorgeous 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 it wasn't cheap this one but it was well worth it I got myself three meters of this um, this is much dressier so the whole fabric is embroidered in this pattern here and then on one 
silver side you have this stunning embroidery like so rich so gorgeous um again with this one i don't want to say shirt um i don't want to say shirt dress because as you know um if you wear something that fits quite close to your armpits in white it will stain eventually you will see your deodorant stains on there and i really don't want for that to happen so i think with this white one i will make a sundress actually with like open shoulders and maybe some like a crisscross in the back um maybe big sleeves i don't know i have a couple of patterns um but yeah i just wanted something classic i want classic black dress and a white dress and the next one coming up is also <laughs> uh, falls in that category you can tell i'm excited can you <laughs> this one was being sold as john caldor see a sucker and it is just super duper cute oh she's so cute this is 100 percent cotton um I think it's just adorable. Again, it's the same on both sides. And um, it's very soft. I washed it already. It's yeah, it's quite flowy, I would say. And um I'm very happy with it. Um I think I got four meters of this. With this one, I'm definitely thinking of making a dress with big sleeves and probably a few tiers of skirts, like gathered skirt, so something like over the top, because the fabric itself is so samey, samey, samey all over that you have to make something with the design of the garment to make up for that. So that's another one of them. And you know what? I've noticed that blue and white combination for me is a winner i keep going to it i just keep coming back to it just blue and white like a navy and white or light blue and white there's something about it that i get drawn to let's move on to my second large slip <laughs> um i very rarely go on pound fabric websites however i go on their site about once a year i think and i buy myself a few bits and bobs um this upcoming line of fabrics that i'm about to show you cost me 50 pounds but i think i got quite a lot for my money and you know with pounds fabric i find it, it's hit and miss I've bought fabric from them really quite cheaply and then I saw them on different side, different fabric um, shops and they were quite expensive so I wonder if all of them are just buying the fabrics from the same place and then I don't know what the markup is and how that works really and why they're selling their fabric so cheaply but if you know what you're after you can actually find yourself some really good bargains. So let me just show you what I got. <laughs> it says gold organza fabric. It's not gold, it's like beige. It's like dark beige. Um, but it is so unbelievably soft. And obviously see-through. And I got myself five meters of it. And why? Is because I want to make a petticoat out of it and not the one that you wear as a skirt on its own um a petticoat that goes under your midi length dresses so perhaps even straight to like a knee level and then maybe a few raffles at the bottom you know that sort of thing not like a big puffy like a 50s petticoat so this is what i got it for 
it is honestly it's just so soft and i do believe they still have it and they have a picture of it in red which was unfortunately sold out i was gutted gutted because red would be absolutely gorgeous but you know what this is like the skin color well I'm, i think i'm lighter than this but you know that will do i'm quite happy with it for five pounds <laughs> five meters of this so that's number one they sell it as crushed velvets so i got myself two colors i got myself this one which is a cheaper is a cheaper feel to it it's like really not that luxurious <laughs> to touch not for the price it was like again just super cheap i don't remember what it was like um so this is the back you can see oh yeah it's a stretchy um and you can see how it's just really quite stubby you know like it's not very smooth but i do love the color and i think that maybe i'll make some sort of like a shrug like a jacket out of it or something with maybe um line the sleeves or maybe line the whole thing but you know it's just something to add a splash of color i didn't mind it at all um it's not too bad and it's so not natural so polyester to the point where i didn't even bother washing it i never do that i always wash all my fabrics but this one is definitely not going to shrink i can <laughs> guarantee you that all right so then we've got crushed velvet in gray same description same price but this one is more this one is silkier this one is more like it just really feels quite nice actually um again it's um like a stretchy polyester fabric but it's just the feel of it is really quite lovely and i don't think it just looks or does it look the same to you guys because it definitely 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 doesn't feel the same to me so again with this one it's going to be some sort of like an overcoat something silky robe to wear outside i don't know something something like that it was super cheap again very cheap it was 245 per meter so again i got three meters of this as well then um i found some lovely cottons um this is a stretch cotton now this i think i got myself a bargain with this one this one was 350 a meter it's really nice and stretchy it's really quite nice and thick let's see for yourself it's lovely actually so i got three meters of this is weight i don't know like a hoodie maybe <laughs> or something like that or some sort of like maybe leggings you know whatever it's 100 percent cotton and this one was 350 a meter a bargain again then on the back of that i got myself a gray one however i'm not entirely happy with the color it's not gray it's like a muddy green to me it is not i don't know it's, it's just something else in it so some sort of like a yellowy green in it or something um, I'm super picky about my colors anyway but then again it's it's nice feel maybe I'll make um, my boyfriend something out of it I don't know I'll see what he says he's very picky about his clothes <laughs> I might not be to the level of you know um, his his shopping choices so we'll see we'll see what he says um, so that's the cotton then i bought two meters of viscose this is just viscose fabric i've bought viscose fabric of exactly the same quality of a couple of different colors from a different fabric supplier and they priced it over five pound per meter now i have 
those other fabrics and I compare them side by side and it's exactly the same quality. So this one was priced at 275 per meter. I, I wouldn't make a garment out of this. I only buy them to have for like linings, you know, um, bits and bobs where, you know, you maybe put like, um, like a facings, you know, stuff like that, a bias binding. So I like to have these viscose in a couple of meters of all my favorite colors so that when I need it, um, it's there. So, you know, for that price, I might just go back and just get myself a few other colors as well. Why not? Um, yeah, because I think with viscose, I do think best way to do it is use the patterned fabric because when it creases like this and you have floral pattern all over it, floral print, you won't notice it as much as, you know, this. So, but yeah, but then, you know, it's nice to have bits and bobs, for, for example, if you're running out of fabric, you know, to do your like pieces of your garments that are on the inside out of extra like a matching or contrasting. Um, and so the viscose, I think really reasonably priced, good quality. That's a winner. And the last two, uh, <laughs> um, I got myself some chiffon um, and I only got it because it was just very like a vintage, vintage and happy and like very cute. This price for this one was actually brilliant. It was three meters for three pounds. So it was a pound a meter. The width is 150. I think it's a bargain. And I tell you, the quality of this particular one is really, really nice. It's just, it's not too thin. It's quite, it's very silky, very silky. It's not too see-through. It's almost like bordering on Georgette, um, but I think it's stunning. I just love the colors of it. Um, yeah, I think um, I did make a few chiffon tops a few years back when I went got back into sewing, and I absolutely loved it. I didn't mind working with it at all. Um, I like sewing with it, I like wearing it. So I think I should look into making something, well, three meters. I mean, you can make a dress out of it, can you? Like a summer dress. I have to look into it again, perhaps make like a beige, like a skin color slip to wear underneath and just make a few chiffon dresses. Very cute for the summer, especially when they're as cute as this. And then the last, piece is also chiffon and it's just blue and white again and it's polka dots so it's a all-round winner for me <laughs> I don't know what it is about polka dots um, for me I'm just don't think that obsessions ever gonna go away this one was two pound per meter however to me it just doesn't feel as nice as the other one um, but it is very lovely again I'd yeah I I obsess over polka dots it's very cute um, and this one I've had four meters I think um, and I think out of this one I would probably like to make some sort of a dress with like a billowy sleeves and a um, bow tie or something like that it would be quite nice very classic very almost like preppy it calls for preppy, I think. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so all of that cost me fifty pounds. The shipping was five ninety nine. So again, like I said, if you know what you're after and if you know what fabric you're getting, like if you know the fabric that you're getting, they're well worth a visit. If you haven't bought from them before, yeah, don't buy too much straight away because I've. I've made that mistake before and I, I wasn't too crazy about most of it but you just do your research some of those fabrics are real winners all right so moving on to sew over it sew over it had sale on the fabric um, a few weeks back 
and I went in there and I think I went in too late because most of the fabric was out of stock already. Um, they reduced some of the fabric 50% and more. <laughs> and, and the first one is, please don't laugh at me, okay? <laughs> it's um, white and blue polka dot, but it's bubble crepe and it's stretching, stretchy both directions. So it's different. It's not, you know, chiffon's pretty and this is also pretty. So it's like two different garments. Don't laugh. It's all right. We'll look at it close some. Absolutely stunning. Very nice quality and it's just so fluidy. Um, this is the back. And it stretches, stretches this way and it stretches this way as well. You know, um, Was this one? I don't know what to make. I was thinking because it stretches. I was thinking some sort of jumpsuit, perhaps, because it will be super duper comfortable, so comfortable. Because no matter how you sit, it'll still have give. You know, whichever way you kind of turn around. I don't. I don't do that. But I'm just saying, if I wanted to, I could because this fabric is very stretchy. So that's that. Um, I think I got two and a half of this one. Another one is a um, blue and white, both of them polyester. Um, and this one is very stretchy indeed. Again, it stretches both directions. And I got two meters of this one. I think it's quite wide actually, because it just looks like a lot. Um, this is a ribbed net. It's quite nice. Yeah, I do like it. Um, for this one, I was thinking some sort of dress. I think some sort of maybe like off shoulder, midi length, long sleeve kind of dress or something like that. It's quite, I think the simpler the design, the better it'll look. Um, maybe even my favorite top from, um, was it Alien Mac? Um, and then make it with the big off shoulder piece, you know? I don't know, I have to think about it. But um, this is something that I'll probably save till autumn. Mind you, it is bloody autumn in the UK, you know? I mean, last year this time, I already had a decent tan. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with the weather. Maybe I should just make it now. I don't know. But these two are from Sew Over It. So thanks to Rachel, I was looking for Lady McElroy Hydrangea um, print cotton lawn or viscose. I don't remember what exactly. And I came across this website. It's called Mandors. I never heard of it and they had sale and in that sale they were giving away like Lady McElroy cotton lawns for like a 10 pound a meter so I got myself two of them uh, and a couple more things so let's start with Lady McElroy I didn't find the hard range I was looking for but I found a different one this I was honestly dying over for a couple of years and then I saw it in sale. I was like, oh my God, this is meant to be. I had to have it. Um, I got it for, I think I got it like, is it two and a half or three meters? I think I got it three meters of this. And it is absolutely stunning. It's so stunning. Surely those of you who know your Lady McElroy fabric will know this one. It's like the most beautiful, silky cotton lawn. It's beautiful quality. To me, this one screams summer dress. You have to have summer dress out of this. Um, I try not to play 
precious with my fabrics and I know I've been given advice to use your best fabric first blah 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 <laughs> but I just like I can't bring myself to cut into this so I think it's, it's just gonna sit there for a little bit till I decide what I want to make with it um but then this summer I have plans to use my last summer's precious fabrics so you know I just need to just just for it to be there for a little bit without actually being anything so that then the second cotton lawn um a lady McElroy cotton lawn was this one and I only have tiny scrap left of it because I already cut it up for a set of pajamas um, I'm making long sleeve and two pairs of shorts of this fabric and um, I still have enough to show you so I'll show you it's really pretty I don't think I would wear this as a dress I think it's a bit too dark for me and it has too much too much warm colors in it you know um, but as pajamas I'll be very happy um, I'm halfway there already and with this one I wanted to buy a two and a half meters but they only had two meters plus a separate cut of 70 centimeters so for the price of two two and a half meters so I said yes that's fine um, for what I needed it would be ideal if it was in the same one cut so one pair of shorts will have front left and the back right parts made from a different cotton lawn fabric because it didn't have enough to I literally was missing like a 15 centimeters to cut them but you know that's life um that's fine I didn't mind it um so yeah so I got that one then I saw this viscose this viscose fabric it's like this and it's it's not viscose shally it's this sort of like a woolly kind of feeling like a soft like a very soft um, viscose do you know what I mean so I got myself I think two and a half meters of this one as well and for this one I actually have a set plan to make a um, fiber mood Fiona jumpsuit out of this I don't think I've ever used fiber mood patterns so it's gonna be a first for me but I think this will be quite nice relaxed you know jumpsuit and I'll be able to wear it to work or you know on a like a shopping day or anything really and then the last piece of fabric I got for myself is silk chiffon black and white polka dot and this was going for 10 pounds a meter as well it's a pure silk I could not not get it just look at this I haven't even washed it yet this is what I will wash by hand um, in warm water but it's just absolutely stunning and obviously for this one is going to be some sort of a blouse I wouldn't say it's white I would say it's cream or light beige um, these bits here but I don't mind that at all again it's just <laughs> there's something about um, silk chiffon that makes me go googly eyes <laughs> so um, yeah that's another one so that's my my luxury purchases to add to my silk chiffon collection because I have a, a couple now and the last 
two fabrics are gift uh, from Minerva so I'm just going to show you them just to show you what kind of prints I, I chose this one is viscose Charlie it's super happy um, even a little bit I would say like retro like a 70s ish you know do you know what I mean let's see I think it's quite lovely and this one um is that beautiful silky silky variety very nice I love the colors as well um I like it that it's a little bit pastel colors and then combination of that dark blue um, what I'm gonna make out of it I don't know I was thinking of making another LOD dress <laughs> um, I think it would work quite nicely with this fabric um, and it would be a day dress so something to wear to work maybe and then the second fabric I asked for is cotton lawn and it's like this it makes me smile super super luxurious this one so this could be so thin so silky oh my gosh this is the back so flowy just gorgeous and I love the colors so much it's like green with little eyelashes like my eyes <laughs> so out of this one I have this um, bird magazine it's just an idea it's not set in stone but I have this bird magazine and they had this dress with a very simple fitted bodice a flared skirt midi length and really big puffy sleeves I think it had like a back zipper and I really want to make it and I'm thinking this could be it um, so I'll have to trace it out and add seam allowance but that will be one evening's work you know um, and yeah I can see this dress being worn to some sort of like a family gathering perhaps or some sort of like maybe I don't know it's outside celebration or just like lunch in town you know that sort of thing's quite dressy um, and yeah it's just so beautiful to touch yeah so that's um, thankfully the end of my fabric haul today I think I won't be buying much for a while but I just need to say that <laughs> I just can't control it you know and me and, and a few people that I know it's like with the best intentions I say oh yes I'm going to join this challenge of you know um, bash your stash or you know or use what you have or you know all this sorts and and they're going on they're going around for a reason because you need you need to stop yourself it's just so easy to just buy loads of fabric <laughs> and I know that but it just makes me so happy but then it kind of makes me a little miserable when I think how much of it I have and I need to keep reminding myself that I need to use up a lot before I buy again so ooh, I just need to stop looking and keep sewing just keep making keep using it up because at the end of the day new fabric is only new for five minutes when you receive it and then it's no longer new you already have it then if you look at something else online that's already new and what you just received in the post is not new so where do you stop and another thing is there will always be fabric where did I hear that but it's just like my mantra there will always be fabric you think 
oh, something went on sale. Oh my gosh, I need to buy it right now because if it's gone, it's gone and for that price and I'll never buy. There will always be fabric, okay, Elisa? So stop it. <laughs> anyway, enough for the sentiment. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed my fabric haul. What do you think of my fabric choices? Do you think my obsession with polka dots and blue and white is getting out of control? Do you think polka dot fabric shopping is gonna get me in trouble? And what do you think of the, my other fabrics? Let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Meanwhile, stay pretty and sew amazing things. Bye.